dare to play. Can y'all let me know if my category changed? It won't change on TikTok. Um, TikTok doesn't even have some of the newer Nancy, newer Nancy Drew games on the list of games to play, so. Just being kids. Is this one gonna freak, I mean, uh, the trailer freaked me out. I don't know, I had so many jump scares during the Deadly Device that were just silly jump scares, but they still got me. It did change? Okay, thank you. Ooh, the music. All right, amateur. Here we go. Oh, she's waking up. Oh, she's in our house. Who's calling me? Oh, I have to click it. What, what time is no it? No thinking, no oh, laughing. Like, yes! Savannah? I was talking about before, you? you spoon. Sorry. What's wrong? Are you calling I got a spoon? Case for you. Can it wait until later? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on, what's There's been a Whoa. kidnapping. A girl, just a little older than you. <sighs> Shouldn't the police be taking care of this? So southern. There's only so much they can do, and she needs to be found before something bad happens. Bad? What do you mean? <laughs> the call came in for me, but I can't go. Thornton Hall is a dangerous place for people like me. Yeah, I was Ghost to hunters, you mean? So people stuff. think it's haunted? Uh-uh. The they know. They know. Jessica needs someone who ain't afraid to run after her. That ain't me. What I'm asking of you <laughs> is me. dangerous. After everything you did for me in Japan, I'll do it. Thank you. Drive to the airport now. I'll arrange Thank a ticket. You. And Nancy, I didn't call you just because you're a good detective. I called you because you're a skeptic. Thornton Hall is no place for anyone who believes. <laughs> then you called the right detective. I'm serious. You think long and hard about that before you get on that plane. If what you find on the island is going to get to you, don't go. Stay home. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Oh, I love the southern accent. Do you think everybody will have a southern accent? You sure about this? I am. Watch yourself around the Thorntons. They earn their bad reputation. Well, thanks for being concerned. I should be okay. Well, it depends who's here. Hope for your sake Wade's not skulking around. Or that loony didn't reject Harper. Harper? But it's Charlotte you best watch for. Charlotte? Black Rock Island belongs to her now. Oh. As ever since the night the fire took her. Ooh. Take care now. Ooh, so Charlotte is the ghost, I guess. Again, Yao, thank you for the 10 gifted sub. You're so sweet. Thank you for helping hit helping me hit past my sub goal. Really appreciate it. Love a good southern accent. Would y'all listen to me if I sounded like her hers is like a really big southern draw. Hi, Dale. Well, there was a commercial. What's the case? Okay, so the case is somebody's been kidnapped, and we have to figure out who did it and where they are. It was a little girl, apparently, that got kidnapped. And Thorn Hall, apparently, is known for being haunted. So Savannah called us and was like, you're on the case. And I called you because not only are you a good detective, but you're a skeptic. Because she, he know, she knows Nancy doesn't believe in this stuff. So, that's why. You're welcome. <laughs> You'd listen. Ooh, creepy. Ooh, creepy. Ooh, creepy! What's this? Tea. <gasps> A note. Scavenger list. 21 items to search and find. Got a clue? What's over here? Okay, let's not go that way yet. <laughs> Hold on, we'll we'll go back. We'll go back. But in the in the meantime, oh I love how this looks. Oh, that's to this family cemetery. Okay. All right, let's go meet everybody. <gasps> I was watching Phantom of the Opera last night. <laughs> Jessalyn? Excuse so I was like, me. Jessalyn? Sorry. Of course you're not. I'm just tired. No, don't be. I'm Nancy. You're here to help? Savannah Woodham called me in. She seems to think there's a supernatural explanation to Jessalyn's disappearance. <sighs> a couple of days back, that would have earned an eye roll. I'm Colton, the fiancé. 
Welcome to Thornton Hall. I'd extend you all the courtesies of the Thornton clan, but we seem to be about 20 years too late for that. You might need this. I found it in the house. Is this Jesslyn's? Yeah. It's dead, though. And the charger got mangled by something. Maybe you could channel all that inquisitive energy into seeing if you can get that old phone back up and running. All right, so I'm assuming Jessalyn is the one that's missing. So she's the one that got kidnapped. And I'm assuming they said that this... Ah, this is her fiancé. Wait, this kind of reminds me of the one in, like, Haunting Malloy. Right? The haunt of Nancy Drew haunting... The haunting of Castle Malloy? The husband was kidnapped, remember? Ah, interesting. I wonder if the the fiance is the one who did it. Ooh. Were you and we'll Jesslyn getting married soon? Yes. Any chance this is just pre-wedding jitters? She might have had second thoughts about the wedding. Trust me, everyone does. But she never let anyone worry about her like this. She loved her family more than anything. Interesting. So he does think that it could be Jitters. They like disappearances after engagements, don't they? Is there another one where it's like this? <laughs> Is it safe to assume you had second thoughts about the wedding? I never said that. True, but you implied it. Yeah. You said, trust me, everyone does. I know. I remember it like it was just moments ago. I'd better get going. Later. Okay, so he's just gonna stay on the porch. All right. Is there anything over here? What's with all the flies? Ooh, ooh. This is a creepy room. All right, let's go in here. Oh, here's a lady. Let's talk to her. You must be Nancy. Yes, you must be Clara, Jessalyn's mother. Yes. I want you to know that I'm here to help you with anything you need. That's real sweet, hon. This is the mom. I okay. know you may not want me here since you didn't actually call me yourself. So long as you help me find Jessalyn, you're welcome under what's left of my roof here. Uh, okay. All right. Who did Jessalyn come here with? Addison. I tried talking to her, but she was a wreck. Here. Okay, so Addison is who she came here with. All right, so she's not here, so I have to call her. All right. She'll have calmed down a bit by now, I hope. Okay. What do you think happened to Jessalyn? You wouldn't know by the look of this dump, but we're worth a great deal of money. Well, that's what I thought this was. But then, no, no, not yet at least. I, I can't believe I'm praying for a ransom note to show up. It's like someone's trying to punish us. Why do you say that? Thornton Hall was once something truly beautiful. But so much greed and tragedy built up in these walls that when they started to crumble, I wanted to save this place, make it mine. But I couldn't. So whoever took Jessie wanted us to sit here in this broken down old house waiting for her. Okay. <laughs> Is there any chance Jessalyn's disappearance could be cold feet? My Jessie would never put her family through this nightmare. Never. One second, guys. My sister texted me. Okay. Um, all right, sorry. Were things good between Colton and Jessalyn? They had their rows and their romantic dinners, same as any couple. Colton had some, well, hun, he had some issues, but they worked through them. You mentioned that Colton had some issues. What was his what issues? What did you mean? The tea. To put it delicately, family issues. 
Never you mind. It has nothing to do with what's going on now. Doesn't it? Hmm. Family issues. Did they not approve of Jessalyn? Hi, Ambient. <clears throat> Tell her chat says hi, send a poop emoji. She said, unfortunately, our game night. We were going to have a game night, but it's got it's getting canceled because my, ne my niece and nephew are sick. Poor babies. Um, they have colds, and Caitlin says that she's starting to get a sore throat now, too. So, unfortunate, but it's okay. Adam, good morning! Thanks for the 38 months! Hello! I know, it's that season, right? Bear also has the sniffles? Oh, no. But also, hi, but I've been watching a minute. Oh, you have been? Sorry. <laughs> Say hi, I think I'm saying hi. I say that a lot, man. I say hi every time, even if it's people that's been here. <laughs> Sorry. It's awkward. <sighs> Alright, so Colton, her fiance, has family issues, but they were okay. Alright. We just started a new Nancy Drew game called The Ghost of Thornton Hall. And we've only spoken to two people so far, or three people. Technically, the fairy man is like one. We talk. Jessalyn is kidnapped. This is her mom. Uh, she thinks that she was kidnapped, but she doesn't know why. There's no ransom note, and she thinks that the family is getting, um, I don't know, maybe karma, I guess, or just somebody's getting back at them. She doesn't know why, though. And then Colton, we met Colton, who is Jessalyn's fiance. The girl missing is Jessalyn. So, and he doesn't know what's going on. However, they did have issues, but apparently it's family issues. And we have, it has nothing to do with this, so. Why is everyone here? Anna. Shouldn't we be out searching for Jessalyn? I closed down the company. The entire staff is out combing the woods. Oh. I said, sit home or join the search. You get paid either way. Not a soul stayed home. Jessalyn grew up in the business. She's got a lot of people looking out for her. I can be thankful for that. All the right. police recommended a presence here. They said we'd have a better chance of noticing if something was off here, knowing the place and all. I have a feeling Jessalyn's probably somewhere hidden in the mansion then. It is a pretty big mansion. I'd better get going. Take care. And there has been previous games that had the person missing happen to be in the mansion too so <clears throat> carrion thornton 1865 to 1937 we're probably gonna need this later <laughs> this reminds me of one of the clues we had to do in the escape room yesterday <laughs> All right, seems like we're going to have to do some family tree something. Espionage and a bonnet. Female secret agents of the Civil War. Oh, okay, we're going to learn. Oh, Harriet Tubman, Belle Boyd, Elizabeth Von Lu. Okay, I don't want to read this stuff just yet, but if we need to know about them, it is located here. What is this? The long cold night on Black Rock. Ooh, Black Rock. None survived. Why is this blacked out? 1866. Okay. I like the music. All right. Well, got some books there. We're gonna keep looking around. I want to look around. I want to sit down and read everything just yet. What is this? Oh. Ooh, got some oranges. Okay. Oh, are we gonna have to make some tea? Okay, let's I get need them. to add some tea first. Oh, okay, yeah, duh. Okay, got some tea. Let's have a bit of lemon and uh, some mint and... Hmm, I like my tea. Very sweet. <laughs> Wait, how many can I add? Oh yeah, add all of it. You know what? Just dump the whole bowl. It's perfect as is. Oh, okay. Perfect. Ah, sugar. <laughs> we are in the south. Ooh, I got a little napkin. Okay. Can I take a cup? No. This is pretty. All right. Mmm. My goodness. <laughs> 
Ah, it's like drinking chicken express tea. Ooh, we got another guy. What is that name? Burrowguard Thornton. It's kind of hard to see. It's pretty dark. It's pretty dark in here. Okay, wait. What are our tasks? Find Jessalyn. Explore the island. Charge Jessalyn's phone. Yeah, we got that one from Colton. Or her fiance. See if Addison remembers anything from her night at Thorn Hall. Right, we have to call the friend that was with Jessalyn when she disappeared. Turpentine, all right. Paint thinner. We're picking up a lot of stuff. Electricity manual. For making batteries with common household items. Do it yourself. All right, this is probably what we're gonna need to charge her phone. Oh my goodness. What is this, the deadly device? Portable electronics are driving force in the modern age. Blah, blah, blah. Coins. Okay, so we probably need coins. Mix vinegar and table salt. Alright, or we can do it with a potato. Or a fruit. Or some soda, vinegar. Oh my god, real people. <laughs> it never ceases to amaze me. I think you're le legally required to call it Kool-Aid with that much sugar. <laughs> the last Nancy Drew game will end in her death by diabetes with the amount of sugar. I wonder if there's a trophy for always having sweet tea in this southern, southern mansion. Hi, Chrono. <laughs> Real people jump scare. Hmm, interesting. Alright, well we're gonna have to figure out how to I don't make... have all the parts I need okay well, we're gonna have to go get all the parts then I need huh, to Nancy? find something to remove these nails oh, okay all right we need those nails this looks like a painting a I painting. should find somewhere to place it all right and we are picking up everything in this game I don't know what this is okay nothing else all right whoa ooh this is uh Kinda creepy. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, got some coins. What is this? Hmm. Is this like a hmm. oh movie? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have to watch a movie later. Cotton Gin Co. Okay. Oh, so we're probably on a plantation. Probably should have realized that earlier. What does it say? Thornton Family Cotton Pressing. This door is from the barn that housed the equipment for processing the cotton. Many a worker lost their fingers in the processing room. Wonderful. All right, we're gonna have to balance something here later. Do I balance the pennies? No? That didn't sound good. <gasps> oh God! Oh, Nancy! Okay. You have made a fatal error. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a pretty, pretty dangerous place here. What's this? I'll take this. All right. So let's not click on that again. Oh, here's a shovel. Like. <laughs> it's a pretty fast, uh, pretty quick death. So it felt kind of, um, what's the word? Lackluster? There was no screaming. <laughs> I want screaming when it comes to my Nancy Drew deaths. Thank you very much. Can I get the nails with a spade? Hmm. Can I get it with a picker? Hmm. Okay. I guess not. I need it like a hammer or something. All right, let's get out of this room before I die again. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Let's save. Ghost number one. Ghost. Ghost number one. <laughs> There's the screaming. Did y'all see that? It was a ghost! Somebody walked past in like a ghostly manner. That was creepy. <laughs> I don't know why. Just... Okay. <laughs> Not from me. I don't want screaming from me. I want Nancy to scream. 
This is a freaky. Ooh, okay. All right, here we it go. It looks we like the painting oh. is missing. <gasps> painting. Here we go. This guy. Franklin. Is that Franklin? All right. Okay, well, found a place for the painting. What's this? Cotton. Okay. Got some cotton. I guess we're gonna have to do some pressing later. What's in here? Who's sleeping here? Why is the sound? Why is the sound? Hello? Thank you. Sound. Freaking me out for no reason. What is this? Okay. Odd. Thing to click on. Ooh, a book. The Thorntons of Black Rock Island. The last flight of Karenina. Karenina? Karina? Karina. Karina, maybe. And Dodge. <laughs> Whoa, Guile. Roger Dodge, as he was known to his friends, never let his difficulties stand in his way. As a child, he found he was defined by a persistent stutter that would follow him throughout his life. He'd often state that his difficulties with speech led him to be a somewhat shy child. He grew to be a bookish young man with a deep love of the language. Despite his great intelligence, he struggled to find his place in the world. That changed when he met Mariana in the spring of his freshman year. As a boy, he wrote in a letter sent to a longtime friend, I never felt sorry for myself because I couldn't speak. Now I only felt, feel sorry for those who cannot listen. Mariana knows how to listen and she's taught me how to be heard. By all accounts, Mariana was quite taken with Dodge immediately, according to an oft-told anecdote. Dodge once proclaimed he would love her until the day he could say her name without a single hesitation. On the spot, she declared that he was hence Fourth to call her Mariana Karin, 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 Karina. Karin. Karen. <laughs> the joke solidified into a nickname once the couple noticed the scandal scandalized reactions she received from the stuffier members of the Thornton clan. Always a bit mischievous, Mariana was never quite in step with the rest of the family. She was known for her wicked sense of humor and often envied for the privileged position she held. Usually the first person that re that relatives would turn to with the problem, Mariana led the family through many troubled times. But the real trouble began on a stormy night in the middle of winter. Mariana had been asked to meet with the head of a small agricultural company the Thornton business had been hoping to acquire. The papers had been drawn up, but there was still some uncertainty on the parts of the company's owners. Uh, Madrigal stock and grain. Um, Mariana was tasked with uh, assuaging their worries and getting the paper signed. Roger, as usual, was at her side. One can only guess their last moments together. This we know. The small prop plane crashed in an empty field uh, after running into an unexpectedly strong storm. All four passengers died on impact along with a two-person flight crew. Those who knew the pair knew that the very least they must have been relieved to have each other's company in the last moments as the plane fluttered down from the sky. Dang. Alright, so these two people died from a plane crash. That's sad. Jackson Thornton. Oh, this is Mariana. Mariana Thornton. Okay. So that's the lady that died in the plane crash. What is that? What is this? It's locked. It's locked. How sad, What's that right? Smudge? It almost looks like something was painted over. Oh, interesting. Can we just oh paint thinner. Paint thinner. Oh. I can't pour this directly on the painting. Oh, okay. What about napkin hmm. on the paint thinner? Hmm. 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 Aha. There's something <gasps> back there. Ooh, there's a person. What is that? Who is, Are those is that? graves? Graves. What the heck? Find the tombstones that were uncovered in Clara's portrait. How did she know this is Clara? Nancy? What do you know that I don't know? Oh, maybe that's the mom. That's probably why we know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Darn it, Nancy. You're way too observant. All right, is there anything else I can click on? Can we click on this clock? 
Doesn't seem that way. Oh, can we not click on this painting? I guess not. Alrighty. Is there any other rooms we can explore? It's a pretty big mansion for only a couple of rooms. Hmm. Yes? Hmm. Let's ask her more stuff before we go to the grave site. What's the story with a locked room upstairs? It's Charlotte's. We don't go in there. It might help me figure out what's going on, if I could take a look around. Best of luck. That door locked itself up tight the day of her funeral. There's not a key in this world that'll open it. I've tried. Okay. Who else was in that old portrait with you? You know, hon, we had that covered up for a reason. I can't talk about it. Not right now. Please, just leave me be. Okay. Well, we'll go find out ourselves then. <gasps> it's just the wind. It's just the wind. Check. Can't check that off yet. Did that. Oh, we have to call Matt. Let's ask him some more questions. There's a lot of bugs. <laughs> hey. What do you think of Clara? She's... Hi, God King. She's just a little severe until you get to know her. And then? I wouldn't know. Okay. Nancy Drew Art Restore. <laughs> just need a little paint thinner. <laughs> You're holding something back. Ooh. So what if I am? Uh, I'm here to find her, so tell me. Can't stay away. How did you and Jessalyn meet? I saw her one day and thought, this is the girl I'm going to marry. And then I threw a rock at her face. <laughs> like, metaphorically? No, I was just a kid. I had a very limited game book. She still has a little scar. You can see it when she smiles. Huh. <sighs> I'll never live that down. I imagine yeah. things improved from there. We became best friends. Then we grew up and became what we are. Or were. Or... He's so suspicious. He threw a rock at her? I mean, I guess young boys don't know how to flirt, so they just want to hurt you. Which is always weird. Um, I know, right? Don't you want to find out what happened to your fiance? He seems way too chill. Way too chill. So, you and Jessalyn must have dated for quite some time. Actually didn't start dating until a year ago. Really? We both dated other people, but nothing worked out. One day, Clara had enough and sat us down and said, Everyone knows you're going to get married. Go to it already. Jess was mortified. I took her out to the coast since that always cheered her up. We talked through the night and by the time the sun came up it just stopped sounding so silly. Interesting. See you later. Bye. So they're kind of like rushed into it. Hmm. Alright, let's go to the grave site. Ah, what a perfect time to go to the grave site. Misty and dark. Hey! <gasps> oh! You're not Savannah. No, oh my but God. you must be Wade. <laughs> Is she with yelling. you? Are you the new assistant? What's his name, get canned or something? Logan? I don't know. All I know is that she thought I'd be the right person for the case. She's not coming. What did you just say? She said she was sorry to send me, but nothing could get her to come here. I never took her for a coward. Well, she seemed pretty scared of the ghosts. Ghosts? No. That ain't it. She's scared of seeing me. I hope Savannah understands the mess she dropped you in. He sounds like he's from Silent Hill. That's one game I should play. I've never played any of the Silent Hill games. <laughs> if you like her, don't throw rocks. Yeah, write that one down. <laughs> what kind of mess? 
take a look around and then you tell me. Who's more welcome here? The living or the dead? Anyway, Savannah had a package sent. I guess it must be for you. It's up in the house. Okay. Interesting. Supernatural! From what I understand, the Thornton family business is very successful. <laughs> yep. We got money and all the trouble that buys. Who else is here? Clara. That's Jessalyn's mother. Colton, her fiancé. Anyone else? Depends what you mean by anyone. Any other alive or verifiably oh, real so people? Oh, so those three? No. Really? What do you think of Colton? I do not like that and, shifty and little punk. is he like punk, the other detective But I have said that about all Jesse's boyfriends. With him, I mean it a little extra. Something's crooked with the two of them together. I don't know if she can see it or not. Okay, I kind of get a sus feeling too, so it makes Who sense. Who runs sense. the family company? Clara. Do you think that's fair? No. Did not think he was gonna say shifty. <laughs> Would you like to run the company? Good, sweet nonsense, no. Do not even imply that I'm after that to anyone. Okay. Why aren't you in the house? I'm only on the island because Jessalyn's missing. Nothing's gonna get me in that house. Okay. What's Clara's relationship to the rest of the family? My cousin, Harper and Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the girls after her mama passed. Okay, I'm still confused who he is in relation to everybody. Did they say it? I Maybe I spaced out. Who is the cousin again? I forgot what my question was. Charlotte's cousin. She lived with the... Eh. Do you know Savannah? I did. Once. And now? And now I don't. How did you meet Savannah? We went to it's the very same aggressive. bookstore. You don't seem like the type. I'll take that as a compliment and an insult. How long ago was this? A while gone now. It was a little old dark place. Carried these musty old books. Stuff that didn't exist anywhere else. What kind of stuff? All sorts. But I was there researching our family. Savannah had this way of reading. Like there was something she needed to know real bad. One day I finally asked, what is it you need to know so bad? You know what she said? What? Nothing. She handed over the book she was reading and walked out. At first, I'm feeling a touch rejected. But then I look at the book. What was the book? That was the crazy thing. It was the Thornton family book of names. Births, deaths, marriage, and so on, going way back. Why would she have that? Why, indeed. I had to know. Took me some doing, but I tracked her down. What is this? What is this button? Um, cool story. <laughs> uh, who is Savannah again? Is Savannah, I know I've heard she worked with Nancy, or apparently they worked on the Japanese case. Uh... Is she a family friend? I forgot. Do you remember Kat? So you met Savannah because she was trying to find Charlotte's ghost? One of those people who met her was Savannah. Ask her, and maybe she'll tell you about it. After that, she became obsessed with Thornton no Hall. Clue. We got to know each other. I fell for her like a Black Tuesday banker. In the end, the landing was just as rough. Oh, so Savannah and him used to date. You said you were researching the family. Why? After Charlotte died, that's when something I always knew came out shining so bright, I finally had to admit it. Long as it's been growing, the Thornton family tree's been split down the middle. The evil roots always trying to strangle out the good. I used to think I was on the side of good. And now? What do you think? I think you are. I think you are. Don't be so sure. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> What did you mean about the family being split in two? You wouldn't know by looking around here, seeing the state we're in. But we're loaded. 
What's that have to do with We're anything? We're loaded. The Thornton family bought its money with blood, and not always our own. And you think one part of the family have more to do with this than the other? I don't speak ill of the dead. Especially not when they're staring up at the soles of my boots. Look around. You'll see. Ooh, spooky. Is Charlotte the one that died in the plane crash, or was that a long time ago? So it seems like Mariana is the one who died in the plane crash. It seems like Charlotte died, and she's the one that they say haunts this place. But I don't. We don't know anything more about how she died or when or anything like that. Does anyone actually live here? No one lives out on the island, but just on the shore. Were you close to Jessalyn? Everyone was. Everyone is. She's the bright spot of happiness in this whole miserable family. Hmm. Goodbye. Get on out of here now. Jeez, okay, buddy. Rosalie. No need to jump, just me. Can you tell me about some of these stones? I'll tell you what I can. But sometimes it's best to just look and listen. That there is Clara's mother. What can you tell me about her? Not a great deal. She loved her secrets. Never even told Clara who her daddy was. Why not? Don't know. When Clara was about ten, Rosalie got real sick. Every day Clara would ask about her daddy. I think she was afraid of being left to fend for herself. But Rosalie wouldn't say. Aww. So this was the grandma. To Jessalyn. Ruby Newton. A spark at birth. A flame in life. A quiet ember in the night. Interesting. Alright. Let's look at these. Something May Newton died January 13th, 1933. Harper Thornton. Harper Stone. Oh. Harper? Indeed. She ran away shortly after Charlotte died. Long enough that we thought we'd lost her too. One day she walked in the front door looking wild and thin as a spring sapling. Never said where she was. Her granddaddy was so mad he left the stone to remind her of what she'd put them through. <laughs> she'd sit out there and read. Don't know if it was spite or if it made her feel at home. Knowing her, probably both. So she's not dead? Lost and dearly missed? Wait, no, she is dead? Or she not dead? I'm confused. Oh, this one's this blank. This blank one is my favorite. Why is that? What? Well, who doesn't want a celebrity in the family? Especially one that rubs all the wrong people the wrong way. The Grey Lady. In the Civil War, they say she was a spy, passing codes for the North. If you look, you can find some of her contraptions here. Her service gave the Thornton family this land. Okay. So, this is where the Grey Lady rests. Okay, and that's where that is. Okay. <gasps> oh my god, did you see that? The head turned! That, oh. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Oh my god, creepy. Creepy, and then it went back. What the heck? Thornton Cemetery, established 1866. This plaque honors those who fought their final rest beyond the family grounds, including Franklin Thornton. Um, born May 4th, 1895. Died October 25th, 1917. Defending his nation. Dedicated January 15th, 1918. Creepy. The head moved. Oh, I love what it does that, though. All right, who's this? Oh. Roger and Marie, side by side from the day they married. This is the one who the died in a plane crash. Both real sweet. Charlotte and Harper's parents. Oh. May they rest in peace. Okay, so Roger and Mariana that died in the plane crash, they had two kids, I'm guessing two kids, Charlotte and Harper. Charlotte died, Harper ran away, but I guess didn't die. <laughs> 
Side by side from the day they married. Aww. Aww, we need to fix our little tombstone. Alright, um... Can we go this way? Oh. Oh, that's nice. A little water feature. And, oh. These were hidden. This one's blank. 54 souls. Oh, that's kind of creepy. Alright. Okay. 54 souls. A creepy lady pouring water into a fountain. Alright, let's go this way. What's in here? Ooh. Oh my god, what is everything moving? Everything's moving in a cemetery. The head, now the arm. Oh god, he's pointing at me. It's locked. Of course it's locked. Is there anything on the sides we can click? No? Alright, I guess we looked at everybody... Here, can we talk to him? Oh, here we go, there's more. Lee Thornton. Virginia Thornton, Virginia, gone, never forgotten. Rest her soul. Oh, Can you mom. tell me anything about her? Just that I miss her, and I always will. Aww. Okay. Luther? Luther, my daddy. Mama called him the king of slamming doors. He had a hot temper, but a soft heart, and no mind for business. He was an intuitive. He brought me out here to the stones at night. Taught me how to open my eyes, shut up, and listen. You rest well, Daddy. So it goes. Aw, so both his parents are deceased. Oh, here's Charlotte. That's Charlotte. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. That's a sad inscription. Yeah, it is. Sad time. None of us wanted to see her leave. We didn't expect it to become what it's become. I want to know how she died, darn it. So she died, she was born 1968, died 1989. Interesting. Sarah M. Thornton. May she find her voice once more. Okay, and then for Beauregard, Beauregard. Thornton. Mean old codger. Oh, mean. Okay, what are these squares here? I can't click on them. All right, looks like that's everybody. It's everybody in the thing. Can I talk to him? Want to hear a ghost? Oh. Check it out. <laughs> okay. The heck? <laughs> Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. I found a set of graves without names on the markers. That is where our troubles began. What happened? Most of the family would rather it never come up. Our first factory was right here on the island. At the time, it made us a lot of money. But along the way, we got greedy. Never built a place for the workers to stay. They'd bed down right on the processing floor. Oh, Nothing horrible. for heat in the winter, so the workers built fires inside. One winter, there was a wicked cold snap. They built a couple of extra big fires, and in the night, the fumes built up. None of them ever woke up again. Oh my god, it's That's horrible. when we split in two. Half saying this will never happen again, and half saying accidents happen. Grieve and move on. Oh, that's horrible. Have you always been a ghost hunting enthusiast? I'm not exactly enthusiastic about the dead, no offense meant. But yes, I do find it interesting. Why? Life is a quest for truth, is it not? And death has a way of stripping away all pretensions. That's pretty philosophical for a guy wearing boots. You northerners don't have a lock on big thinkers. We got plenty. Like Roscoe J. Redbrook and the Gimbal Tucky Boys. And I dare you to say their lyrics don't equal those of the Greek poets. And we got that Ooh. old guy with the white suit and the chickens. Point is... I like ghosts because they show me what is, 
Not what Colonel I want to Sanders? see. And wearing boots don't make you stupid. Makes you smart, if it's muddy. With the Waisu and the chickens? Is he talking about Colonel Sanders? <laughs> what? Who are the other people that he was talking about? I know, suddenly so passionate. <laughs> Do you have a key to the crypts? Sorry. <laughs> My favorite philosopher, <laughs> Colonel Sanders. When did the factory accident happen? That was more than a hundred years ago, and we still can't move on. That's why this house still stands, I think. Until we Thorntons decide who we're gonna be, we're stuck on this island. You should see it on a summer day when the ocean and the sky are sharing the same blue and the grass is bright. But here it is, gray and dark, under all the misery we've heaped upon it. Interesting. There's 11 herbs and spices, a family sweet crib made a fortune. You don't oh, yeah. seem like a bad guy. <laughs> Can you tell me why you ended up in jail? You really want to know? Wait, he went to I jail? Do. Then listen. I don't care if you believe me, but keep this to yourself. Okay. I wasn't close to the company then. Still ain't, but I heard through a friend of the guy down the way. You know how it goes. I heard that our processing plant in town was up to its old tricks. Hiring people who couldn't afford to quit and treating them beyond bad. Locking them in to meet quotas and such. I asked Clara. She denied, naturally. But it made her so mad, I asked. I had to go check it out myself. I went in the middle of the night, and right away I saw it was true. The exit was padlocked. Right in plain view of the world, and no one cared. I broke in. That's true. I was furious. I broke one of the big machines. That's true, too. So there it is. I stood up, and boy, did I get knocked down. You must be pretty mad at Clara. You don't even know the half of it. Dang. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. So Clara, so they're known, I guess the Thorns are known for having really bad, like, workplace environments for her work, for the workers. And it looks like they're still, like, I guess he said that the family is split. One, move on and just keep pretending, I guess, it didn't exist or didn't happen. And the others are like, learn from it. And then Clara is the one that is still treating the workers bad because he found out. Interesting. Nick Offerman, I fear I'll never unhear it. <laughs> See you later. Which later. Nick Offer who's Nick Offerman? I'm really bad with names. Who is that? Do you mean the, is Nick Offerman the guy from Parks and Rec? Oh, uh, what was his name? Is there anything else I can see out here? There's not much to click on or see. I guess we can talk to this guy. Oh, Ron Swanson! I was right! What's I didn't up? know! Well, what do you I think happened know. to Jessalyn? Yeah. He does sound like I'm trying to avoid like thinking it. about it. I have a... It's the attitude, My too. mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Interesting. By the way, Adam, I've noticed you've been playing Core Keeper. How, what do you think? We used to play. And then now a lot of people are playing. And I was curious why, if I should play. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Interesting. That's done. Oh, we need to find the package. I need to also go take a lunch break. I'm hungry. Oh, here's the package. Oh, there we go. Ooh, what's this? EMF reader? Are we gonna be finding ghosts? The Ghosts of Thornton Hall. True Encounters Retold by Savannah Woodham. Oh, Savannah wrote this book. 
Nancy, here's some of my old paperwork from when I was looking into Charlotte myself. I know you're going to be looking for Jessalyn during the day, but night is the best time to investigate the family. That's when the spirits get restless in more ways than one. You'll probably get more out of the family than anyway. The EMF gadget I included works pretty well on the property. I don't normally use these, but there is a strong correlation between the meter peaking and documented sightings. I know you don't like things that can't be explained, but just because it can't be explained yet doesn't mean you should disregard it. Call me if you want to talk. I don't know what help I can offer, but I'm there if you need me. Good luck, Savannah. Okay. We'll read this in a little bit. Read this. I need to go. I want to go take a little break and uh, go eat lunch, and then when I get back, we can continue. All right. Let's get back in it. Right, we have to read this. All right, so this is Savannah's book about Charlotte, who is the ghost of Thornton Hall. Um, March 4th, subject swimmer, type visual oral contact, notes near death. Okay. So, I was 14, my younger brother was about 12 at the time, I was a bit of a scrawny kid and caught more than my fair share of trouble on account of being the smallest, but I was no coward and I was itching to prove it. That's when I caught wind of Charlotte, I got it in my head that if I spent the night out at the island, the kids at school would leave me alone. Doesn't make sense now, but it made a lot of sense then. I made this big deal about sneaking onto the island and everyone was interested, especially my younger brother, Sean. He demanded to come and to be honest, I was happy to have the company. We spent a while trying to get a boat, but no one wanted to lend a boat to two kids in the middle of the night. Go figure, right? I knew if I didn't make it out there, I'd never hear the end of it. I'd made too big a deal out of the whole thing. I was locked in. That's when I decided that we should swim over. Anyone who grew up here knows you don't do that. The swim's not far, but the currents, they'll smash you on the rocks or they'll pull you under. That's exactly what happened to Sean. One second he was next to me and the next gone. I panicked and dove into the water, nothing. Again and again, nothing. But turns out he was fine. He made it to the shore. I was the one in trouble. I kept going under until I was until I got disoriented. I couldn't find which way was up. I knew that was it for me. I knew I was going to die, and I could feel the fight going out of me. That's when I heard singing. The water around me went still, and a song started swimming its way around me, pulling me towards this thing, this woman, Charlotte. The water was ice cold, and she was turning it, it turning it to steam, smoke was pouring from her like ink under the water. I knew I couldn't die down there. I knew I had to get out of the water. I don't know what happened next. I woke up on the rocks, then in the hospital. I never saw her again. I've spent the rest of my life trying not to look. Ooh, that sounds so creepy. Anyway, so this is a person that's seen Charlotte. Okay. April 10th, subject tagger. Type oral phantom smoke notes no eye contact possibly reliable or not or not telling entire story Yeah, I saw her it doesn't matter why I was there Let's just say I'm an artist underappreciated in my time and by the powers that be this music <laughs> oh, I Was out with a few writers. I like to run with out in the ruins L was w who? blank was working on her stuff like she always did a little cute for my taste but she is who she is suddenly she drops everything and is like we gotta go right now she said it like no drill just run we grabbed our stuff and we ran and we were going as we were going there wasn't smoke but we were all choking like there was we could all smell a fire and in the distance we heard screaming I wanted to go back, but L told me that what we heard wasn't human. We all knew she was right. We got off the island. That's all it was. So these are like re like encount in encounters with ghosts or something that she spoke to, like the people that encountered Charlotte or something. Hmm. All right, next, last one. May first, subject: old friend. 
type non haunt note skeptic mild hesitation I knew her we came in we came up in school together she was the smartest the prettiest and nice she didn't need to be but she was she talked to everyone about their lives their friends and families and she could remember it all we used to joke that she had the whole town in her head maybe it was more true than we thought when she died part of the town died with her I know you want to ask about the hauntings and rather you than anyone rat and rather you than someone else I you know that stuff doesn't sit with me, but you come from good people. The truth is, she's just gone. Part of me wishes she was a ghost so I could go tell her my proper goodbyes. But anyway, that's silly for two reasons, since she's been made up to be such an angry ghost. I've heard the stories just like you did. That's not Charlotte. Not the Charlotte I'd known. There was no evil in her. Savannah, do you think what happened the night she died might have changed that? It was an accident. What if it wasn't? Then she's Charlotte. She always was Charlotte. Aw. Well, that's nice. It means Charlotte's a good a good ghost, I guess. That's done. All right, we did that. Find a way into the crypt. Find a way to enter the room at the end of the hall. Oh, we need to call Addison. Right, we got her phone number. Addison, I like the cat, Bess, and Savannah. Still no Ned. Ned is out for the count, man. Why can't we talk to Ned? You're right. I think you're right. Charlotte was the one who died from a fire. Yeah, but we don't know any more details to that, right? I don't think so. All right, let's call Addison. Apparently, Addison was with Jessalyn, the girl that got Hello? kidnapped. Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. <laughs> okay. How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Do you think Clara could have anything to do with Jessalyn going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara, but still, I can't say for sure. Hmm. Is Clara her real mom or her stepmom? Maybe real mom. I initially thought of carbon monoxide poisoning if there was no smoke. <gasps> Possible. What hmm. do you think of Colton? That would make you cough, What's right? To think? I don't know. He's always been decent to me and Jess. The bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you oh, know yeah. where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it, but I couldn't tell you where it is. Oh yeah, we got a scavenger hunt at the beginning of the game. We have to go look at that again. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. Oh. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. I she used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. Oh. Naughty, naughty. Well, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. Oh. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Oh, thank you for 74 months. You're so sweet. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good weekend. Okay, so her idea of a bachelor party is trying to find a ghost. Interesting. Okay, okay. That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> is now there she's missing. anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. Ooh, creepy. What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. Interesting. Hi, Minoc. Do you post your streams anywhere? I was watching your mystery of streams, but I can't find them anymore. Um, yeah, so Twitch, 
gets rid of a certain amount of VODs, um, but I do have a YouTube VODs channel, so um, estimation mark YouTube 2, like the number 2, will give you the link. But we usually put all of my VODs on the YouTube channel because YouTube obviously can hold up to unlimited number of VODs, right? So, but Twitch can't. Thanks, Marjona. <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Alright, so they're out searching. And then she got distracted and she was trying to find something. It became not fun anymore. Okay. Double exposure, too. You're right. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. The what heck? happened? I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs, and that was that. That's creepy as heck. You said things got strange. What did you mean? It was her and me up in that freezing house, and I remember thinking, I'll never get to sleep. Then I started to feel fuzzy. Fuzzy? <gasps> like I was underwater or something. Oh, interesting. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. Ooh, creepy. Yeah, maybe carbon monoxide poisoning. But she would be dead then, wouldn't she? She just said that she felt like she was pinned down. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Would you consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Oh boy. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No. But it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. I'd better get going. Bye. Yeah, there's gotta be... There's gotta be some secret passageway somehow. We just gotta find it. Did that. All right, we also need to charge Jessalyn's phone. I wonder if I have enough materials to make my own battery. Oh wait, wrong way. That's the exit. Okay, I think we can make stuff. How do we make batteries? <laughs> Hold on. What did they say? Coins? I don't have any vinegar or salt or a paper towel, so maybe we don't make the battery that way. Fruit, fruit. Oranges, we have an orange. Using acidic fruits, lemons, limes, oranges, press one copper coin and one nail into each fruit. Oh darn it, we need the nail. We need hmm. these nails, but I, I can't get them. Darn it, we still need to figure out how to get the nails. What is this music? Stop it! Freaking creepy! Oh, should we like walk around to see? <gasps> oh boy! Yeah, we're apparently trying to make a battery out of an orange. But the thing is, I tried clicking this and we died last time, remember? Oh yeah, never mind, we died again. Ah! ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! Jeez! Well anyways, ghost activity! <laughs> what about in here? Nothing? What about in here? Ooh. Oh, nothing. Hmm. 
What about by the staircase? Oh, okay, okay. Is there anything here? Or it's not staircase, fire fireplace. Hmm. I wonder which one in the gray lady is. They say, do y'all see anything where it says gray lady? so I might miss it. I don't see anything, though. Hmm. Should we read this? The Long Cold Night at Black Rock. Do you have any plans for what you're playing for Halloween yet? No, no plans. <laughs> Why? Do you have a suggestion? The years of plenty... Plenty would soon be upon the Thornton clan, but they would not come without a price. In order to keep a close watch on the production facility, Jeb had a small factory built on the Black Rock property. He did not foresee the potentially disastrous possibilities. When the winds grew cold and the waves made passage back to the mainland difficult, the workers were granted permission to stay overnight in the factory. Blah, 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 blah. None survived. Sarah was the first to enter the factory the morning after the accident and never recovered from the shock of what she found within. Many within the town held Sarah in high regard for her kind, open nature. The employees in particular had an unwavering appreciation for Sarah, who had taken on the role of caregiver once the factory moved onto the island, affectionately calling her Nana. She'd visit the factory twice a day with bread and treats, even offering a warm bed in the main house to any employee who fell ill. Shortly after the tragedy, Jeb began construction of a housing unit for inclement weather and immediately restaffed the factory despite Sarah's wishes. While Jeb seemed justifiably upset, he was determined to maintain the family business no matter what. When the new employees arrived on the island, Sarah retired to her room, refusing to leave until her death a few years later. It's been said that a handwritten note found in her pocket read, We have sown the black seeds of death and for forevermore will harvest only blood. Evidence suggests that this note may have been fabricated, but the chilling message remains a popular element of Thornton lore. Jeb was hit hard by the loss of his wife, but remained steadfast in his attempts to grow the family business and as something worth the tragic cost of the lives it had taken. Jeb's drive became somewhat of a family trait after his passing a few years later, as did Sarah's discomfort with the business. In the generations to come, a dogged dedication to the company or queasiness with their ill-gotten wealth became the two defining characteristics of the Thornton clan. Even the most beloved family members eventually had to choose a side. That's the split that they were talking about. Interesting. It looks like that book deals in facts, so maybe I won't mention a ghost. Oh, this one? I'm not talking about the... There's like a... There's a person buried in the gravesite that's nearby, and they just called her the Grey Lady. There's like no name, and they just... All they said was that she was a spy, and this one is about like the, the secret agents of the Civil War. So I'm figuring one of these ladies was the Grey Lady that they're talking about. I don't know. That's why I just mentioned that. Um, oh, I got another napkin that's clean. Do y'all want some tea? How much How much sugar do y'all want, chat? Would you like some mint or some lemon? What would you like in your tea? <laughs> what would you like in your tea, chat? Mmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to have to figure out who the gray lady is. And that's why I just mentioned that. You want some lemon? Is that all? Ian, is this all? How about 9,000 sugar? Oh, on it. <laughs> on it. There you go. Just a few, you know, tablespoons. Hey, it's just tea, okay? Not gumbo. My hands say, add more. <laughs> But my heart says no. <laughs> I love how 
she literally stops you from adding too much sugar. Like, what? All right, uh, let's talk to the mom. Yes. Oh, God, that was loud. Is there honey? Unfortunately, no. Just sugar, mint, and lemon? <laughs> That's candy lemon at this point, pretty much. <laughs> Is there anything else I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. Actually, As a matter did. of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. I'm happy we have another set of eyes looking for Jesse, but I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Wade said you're the reason he went to jail. Is that true? No. Wade is the reason Wade went to jail. He said you were the one who pressed charges. Well, isn't he the chatterbox when it suits him? Is that true? Yeah, it is. What he doesn't get, what no one gets, is that I meant well. No matter how he explained it to you, he broke the law. He broke into the factory, he damaged thousands of dollars of equipment, and scared the workers half to death. I didn't think he'd go to jail, though. And he knows that. What did you think would happen? I thought community service. An officer to keep him away from his crooked friends so he would finally straighten up. I planned on dropping the charges, but once the ball got rolling, I lost control of it. Wade ended up sitting across from a judge who wanted to make an example. And oh. that was that. Wade has wanted his revenge ever since. I even... Oh, it's stupid. I even suspected him of taking Jessalyn to get back at me. But he'd never do something like that. I mean, I don't think. Just put it in thoughts in our head. Interesting. Her accent. Yeah, we're in like the... We're in the South right now. I don't know exactly where in the South, but I think we're in the South. Somewhere in the south. We're on a plantation. <laughs> Everybody's speaking a southern, southern accents. Don't lock people in factories then. I know, right, Rasmi? Like, lady, he was on to something too. Everyone else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. How did she not get not in trouble? after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. See you later. See you later, hon. I don't think it's her mom that kidnapped her own daughter. That would be weird. Where in this room? At least the tea isn't ghost ghosty. Some somewhere in this room it gets a little. Gotta find the secret entrance chat, wherever, or a passageway. There's gotta be one. projection come from it had to have been a projection right you know hmm. this music is not helpful <laughs> darn you Alright, well, let's look at the scavenger hunt. This is what her, Jessalyn, and her friend was doing, Addison, before she died. Or before she died, oh god, before she got kidnapped. <laughs> Land on the island, photo of haunted house, 
spot a bat, find mom's portrait, track down Charlotte's statue, find a not broken full window, take a picture of the entrance to the ruins, find a bag of cotton, find the key to Charlotte's bedroom, gravestone epitaph, hunt, how do you say that? Hunt? W L. Nana, Grandma, Ghost, Dodge, H T V T, Karina, Factory, Accident, Victims, L A. Okay, what does the W and L stand for? <laughs> PT looks weird now. <laughs> I told you it was good for spooky season. You're right, it was scary. See the ghost. Find a painting with a horse. Take a photo of a skeleton. Find a book about the family. Open the crypt. Find something with the number 13 on it. Leave a flower for the ghost. Find an invitation to Charlotte's last party. Get proof of ghost recording her photo. Find a creepy spider, alive or dead. Survive until morning. Oh god, well that didn't work. What is this though? W... W... L... Okay, let's talk to him. What's up? Never mind. See you later. Bye. W W L. Look, it's not moving anymore. I'm I'm gonna say it was the that hat. Can There's we leave? no way off the island right now. Oh. Is there is uh what was I gonna say? I forgot. Maybe for a map? Apparently we were hired to frame Ryan. Um... Yeah! For the last game. Oh, width and length? I mean... I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let's talk to him. Hi there. Clara told me that she never intended for you to go to jail. Don't believe that. Why not? Because it ain't true. She used to come visit just to laugh at me through the glass. That was the price of hearing about home. Interesting. Do people really come here trying to meet Charlotte's ghost? Around the time Charlotte's ghost was driving the family away. The stories started to spread. Little kids around here started playing this game to scare themselves silly. They'd turn off the lights and say, Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. Over and over again until they'd just about scare themselves to death. It was just a game, but that's when people started jumping the fence at night hoping to meet her, saying that same silly rhyme. Most had just come and go in peace. But the ones who found her, it messed them up real good. A couple even went into shock. I found her. She was wearing a red and black dress. That's probably why it's red and black. Hi, I see. Is it true that you have a questionable past? You asking if I really went to jail? Yes. I advise against it. <laughs> well, why? It's not a fun place why? and they don't let you leave. No, I mean, why did oh. you go to jail? <laughs> I know what you meant. I took a tour of the seasons. My debt is paid, that's all. I'd really like to know. The nerve you got. I saw something I can't explain in the house. That's why you couldn't get me in there for nothing. I don't believe in ghosts, but... That don't stop you from feeling them. Would you believe my happiest memories live in that house? Christmases and long summer nights stargazing on the roof. Can I listen to more recordings? Sure. See you later. It just sounds Get on like... out of here now. It just sounds like he recorded something from TV, you know? Is your head gonna move, lady? It moved once. Can we clean it? The angel 
of death. Angel of music. Me, 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 me. 54? <laughs> Wrong game? What do you mean? I wonder what they mean by this. I don't understand. 8163. It's got to be a code for something. But I'm not sure what. Can we go behind her statue? Oh, I don't think so. All right. Haven't done. Can't check. That. Can't check. That. Check. Still have to do that. All right. What are we missing for the battery? We need those darn nails. But I haven't figured out what to use to get the nails out of the wood. Like, there's gotta be something maybe I haven't picked up, you know? What was that? Did y'all see that? Am I going crazy? I thought I saw a shadow. Maybe I'm going, I'm going crazy. Going crazy, chat. I'm going, seeing things now. <laughs> What's up? Goodbye. Bye. Or what else can take nails out of wood? I better check out what's going on upstairs. We are singing. Not that singing, different singing. <gasps> Nancy! Make yourself blind. Call Charlotte home. I need to figure out what this means. What is this? Even ghosts have their favorite haunts. Charlotte requests a meeting with you. Recite a rhyme with dreadful meter. Where dreadful, dreadful meter is at its peak. Make yourself blind. Don't dare peek. Call Charlotte home and hear her speak. You may just let, she may just let you live. Creepy! All right. When we saw some, when she's talking, when this what hit red, that was by the area we died. So let's go there and and try to call for a ghost. Heck yeah, sounds like a good idea. That's See? almost off the charts. This must be the place. Yeah. Grave cleaning videos are all over TikTok. I've seen those. <laughs> They're satisfying. Um, all right, so we have to, okay, um, recite a rhyme with dreadful meter where dreadful meter is at its peak. Okay. Make yourself blind. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I used the napkin to make myself blind. <laughs> what the heck? All right, um, here ghost, come here, here ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. Dear diary, today I did this. Yep, not kidding. Totally wore a blindfold to get a ghost to do its bidding. <laughs> All right, let's say this one. Fire so red, night so black. Dear sweet Charlotte, please come back. What's going on? Where are you taking me? Tell me, who are you? Nancy, I am here to help Jesselyn. Give me a reason to let you live. Mind you, a good one. What? One reason to spare. Give it to me now. The spirits are growing impatient with my mercy. I'm here to find Jesselyn. That's reason enough. That's it. I'm leaving. You can't scare me. How do we find Jesselyn or get out of the way? We'll say this one. I'm here to find Jesselyn. That's reason enough. Foolish, but come. Remove the blindfold. Who is this? Just who are what you? What the? Harper, can I trust you? Harper? Can you be trusted? I... Oh! Oh, she's alive! They were saying that Harper is Charlotte's sister and that she ran away but then she came back oh wow she's still alive oh goodness she looked like edward scissorhands cousin <laughs> oh my god well that depends can you be trusted Who is that's this? a no oh, now, hell no. 
You'll be wanting to know why I am hiding under the house. That would be at yeah. the top of my list of questions, <laughs> yes. It's because I don't want anyone up there to find me. Why not? It is undeniably frigid here. Cold as the crypts themselves. I'll build a fire, and the fire will build some smoke, and the smoke will build some rain. Are you ignoring my question? Not ignoring, no. Elongating the moments in between the asking and the hearing, pausing for effect. Okay. Could you tell me now? A moment, hon. Ahem. <clears throat> it's because I'm a grandly unbalanced sociopath with delusions oh. of grandeur and a history of erratic behavior and violent tendencies. My family resents me. They have publicly said that I'm a freak. People in the town point and stare. The neighborhood children used to call me witch lady until my dedication to the ironic led me to bake cookies for the sweet darlings. But it was my love of the dramatic reversal that won out in the end, and I threw the little runts down a well. You what? Oh, I'd never do such a thing. But it would be funny. Not funny, haha, -ha, but funny. Ah, help, I'm in a well. So that's me. Tell me about you. I bet you're fascinating. I... Oh, wait, shut it. I forgot the most important thing. Do not tell anyone I am down here. If you do, I'll... I'll just do something rotten. Here, take this. What is going on? I like how she said it's not funny, haha, -ha, but funny, weird. <laughs> Anyways, from TikTok. Whoa! So there is a there's a lady living in the walls. What the heck? Go now. Oh. Hmm. I should look for those portraits. To find me again, look to the portraits. Okay. All right. We got crate. <gasps> Oh, that means we won't die anymore if we... Oh. No, I'm a liar. <laughs> Never mind. I thought we... What? Why did it show it dropping then? Darn you. Why did it show that then? I'm confused. It doesn't show it on the ground. Do I use that thing to take nails out of the wall? I'm lost. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> I know, I got it bailed again. Darn it, hmm. I need these nails. That was crazy. So it was a secret lady. But we can't tell her. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. We can't tell anybody uh, that she exists. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, I'm clicking all the portraits. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any other portraits we I missed? I couldn't click on that other What the what the what the what the what the what the what? The what the what the what? The, what, the, what, the, what the heck? What was that? That couldn't hmm. That hmm. couldn't have that couldn't have been a projection. What was that? Hmm. hmm.
The mom's gone. Where'd the mom go? I thought maybe I could click on something new, but I guess not. All right. Find me again, look to the portrait. Do I have to figure hmm. out where her portrait is or something? What was her name again? Harper? Freaking, what? I don't, what? Bur Beauregard. Franklin. Hmm. Can't click on this one. Hmm. This is Mariana. Is that her? Oh, do you think when they, oh, hold on. Do you think she wanted me to look at the portrait? I wasn't supposed to figure this out yet. Oh, maybe this is where we have to go. Okay, let's go to the grave site, because i that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe we solved that puzzle a little too fast. Am I a Sabrina Carpenter girly? I do like her songs. What do you need the nails for? Um, I have to charge Jessalyn's dead phone, and they taught me how to make a battery out of um, uh, orange pennies and nails. So... That's why. <laughs> um, he's gone too? He's gone. He's gone. Why is everybody gone? Heck? <gasps> Her head moved again. Creepy. Where I was gonna have to meet her here. I'm wrong. Cause the, hmm. Dang it, I thought I knew what I was doing. What are the blue lines? Click on it. Hmm. This <laughs> is <Bailey. gasps> He's gone too. Everybody's gone. Hmm. I'm confused. Saw the riddle in the note to find Harper again. Okay, where is the riddle? To find me again, look to the portraits. <laughs> Tanner, don't worry, you're not the only one. It freaked me out too. Go back to the swing. Did you see something? Did you see something move? Turn around. <gasps> Lulu! Oh my god! You have such good eyes! No, I did not see that! <gasps> Lulu! Yeah! We needed this. Oh, we needed this. The red color caught your eye. Oh, I'm so glad it did. Okay, time now. Time to recharge the battery. Time to recharge the battery. All right, I got my dish, and we got some of this. And we all got right. some of oh, Let's nice. see if all those oranges did the trick. We're charging up our phone. Yay. It's not charged yet. Okay. Do I wait here? Or? Can't check that off yet. 
Do I back out and just let it charge? Oh, I guess so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder hmm. what this thing is. Tesla would be so proud. I know, right? It's not charged yet. We have to like leave and then like come back. Nope. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try this neat trick. I don't know if it'll work. Been lurking a bit upstairs on some of the paintings. There was someone in the background. Yeah, you're right. But like, I don't know what I don't know what it means. She's by she's by those little graveyard grave the grave stones, but I just went there and nothing happened. Can I clean this off more? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Do <laughs> they not have power outlets in this house? No, they do! They do! Do we have to keep cleaning? The letters must <gasps> be what that note was referring to. All right, now to find all the others. <laughs> I see, I see. Is she writing this down? Okay. Hmm. I see it. I get it. I get it. Trusting she's writing it, so. Ah, I saw that one earlier. I saw that earlier. That's it. That's now it. I should be able to figure out what the Got card it. means. Good job. Yeah. This place is so old, though. There's no, there's no power. I guess I don't know. Woman who does the voice of Nancy Drew is also the voice of Rogue the Bat from Sonic Adventure 2. No, I did not. It's interesting. Alright, do... Oh, chat. We're gonna have to switch out the words. Cottingen, get, get seats. Words on stream, it is. We're trained for this. Um, D's, <laughs> ambient. <laughs> um. Banana. Balance. Scales. That's it. Cot engine, get seeds, balance scales. Okay. Cot engine. How do I get this working again? Okay, we have cotton. We picked this up earlier. I need to put the combs on first. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... Ah, okay. One. Three. 
<laughs> I'm literally just guessing I shouldn't be doing this, but alas. Oh wait, I did it wrong? I did it wrong. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed it. All right, now we dump the cotton in. There we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, here's the seeds. Done. Oh. That's all of the seeds. God seeds. Okay, now we go here. I have to find a way to balance these scales. Ooh, that's a heavy seed. Well, this is balanced. We'll just throw this seed away. Oh, wait, is it balanced? Yeah, it is balanced. Just put it away. Darn it. <laughs> Math equation. No. Of that, how many seeds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. A five plus B four plus C one equals six X. Oh my God, the heck! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, I did it! <laughs> I did it all with my eyeballs. Ooh, a backpack. That looks new. It might be Jessalyn's. Open it. Ooh, candy. Mm, I'm just gonna eat that. Oh, a key. Wedding notes. You know my mom and you know me, so when you look over this list, don't forget the crazy requests are not mine. My one request is that you show up and wear a suit. What follows is a list of demands from on high. Also tell your mom that I'm fine doing whatever, but she's got to go toe to toe with my mom about any changes. She will, trust me, let's just try not to be near that. So here goes. Your groomsmen, no beards or piercing or tattoos, and they should all be wearing the exact same shade of black. This is just not going to happen since I made the mistake of having friends with personalities. No wedding DJ. It has to be a band and not Brian's band. No one likes wedding DJs. I already told Brian his band could play. They'll behave this time. I'll make sure of it. Table cards. Go talk to my mom about this. She'll make you pick out which ones you like. Pick the second ses set she shows you. If you pick the first or last, she'll assume you weren't paying attention. It doesn't matter what you pick, but I doubt that you care. Do not care at all. My mom wants to mix all the guests up at the wedding so people mingle. It is up to you to stop that from happening. No one likes that because it is a stupid idea. Not looking forward to that. She's going to try to get you to force me to uninvite a few of my friends. Obviously not going to. When she tries, just say, I'll try, but you know how Jess gets. Why can't you deal with this yourself? Why all of this stuff about your mom? She does realize I'm not marrying her, right? Menu. Past. Cucumber tea sandwiches, caramelized onion pecan tart, quail egg and caviar over scallop muesli. Chilled strawberry soup and balsamic clouded etched ice ramequin. That sounds fancy as heck. Balsamic clouded etched ice? Did you hire one of those molecular gastronomy guys? Why not fried chicken and cheesy shrimp grits or mac and cheese? That's what everyone's going to want. Why make everyone's 
everyone eat food that requires appreciation. So this was notes for her wedding. Oh, we're not done. Pecan encrusted trout with greens and new potatoes. Braised short rib poached peach fried yam tartine. That sounds great. I eat that. Specky, thanks for the 27 months. Thank you. Or excuse me, years. <laughs> Thank you. Food that requires appreciation. Shouldn't this be fun? De dessert. Brioche and dark chocolate pudding served with white pepper ice cream. White pepper ice cream? Multi-tiered white on white cake with fresh berries. Recep reception. Uh, caters choice of bar snacks. We need to reserve a block of rooms for the wedding. My mom will provide you a list of things she'll want with regard to the rooms. No. Just one list. This The list can't have an item that is another list. Is wedding prep a stress test to see if you really want to get married? Is that what this is? Because that has to be what this is. If you don't listen to your fiance that you're about to marry for a wedding, that probably means a lot to her. Shame Martin on you. Family tree. Hmm, might come in handy. Rosalie Thornton, question mark. All right, got the family tree. Is there anything else? She left some clothing. All right. Oh, there she is. <laughs> this is so weird. I'm gonna snoop in here. What's this? I don't know what that is. All right, let's keep looking around. She's just chilling by the little fireplace over there. I don't want to talk to her yet. She freaks me out. She wanted to throw kids down a well. And I was like, mm, interesting. This is where we came from, right? Oh my god, I'm already lost. This is where we came from. What the heck? Oh my god. Ooh, this kind of, ooh that's probably a passageway. wine this is a wine cellar gosh Ooh, what's this Ooh, we got some tile pieces Ooh, a green book charlotte's cryptic obsession cryptic obsession with jackson was indeed grave was she in search of something lost or lost in the search itself and who was this jackson they say dead men tell no tales but that isn't true now is it that phrase itself came from a man who is now dead and still telling tales and, te and letting his thoughts go traveling through humanity like hitchhikers patiently waiting to get to the next town. Who is Jackson indeed? What's he hiding and who put it there? Was it Charlotte? What's this, what's this book? Who's Jackson? The Jackson? Jackson. There's so much to like look at. What am I looking at over here? Oh. What well, was I looking at this? Anything else? Oh, hey, Harper. <laughs> Don't kill us, okay? <laughs> Doesn't sound like it's a fiance who is putting up all the things for it, though. Sounds like some something forced to by your mother. True. You're right. It did say that at the beginning. She doesn't necessarily... It seems like she doesn't necessarily care about it about all these this stuff but she's again her hand is forced maybe i don't know she can always just say screw you mom Ooh, ooh, what's that okay that's locked uh go figure all right let's go talk to speak her well, hi, Cheryl. <laughs> Can you tell me a little more about Clara? I could, but as a lover of the written word, oh, I prefer show, not tell. So why don't you go ask her about her daddy? What? What do you know about Clara? She's cold. She's a cold person, nothing like Jessalyn. Ask her about Jessalyn. See how she reacts. Not like the caring mom she's pretending to be. Not if you really look. Were you and Clara close as children? I don't want to talk about it. 
I'd really like to know. It might be important. She could have been good to me. She could have been there when I needed someone, but she wasn't. Why are you here? Jessalyn, poor little Jessie Lamb has vanished, they say. You didn't Can't have her? that. Not here. No, no, not on the island. Are you trying to find Jessalyn? Yes. Maybe you could help me out. You want my help? I'm not a helper. Oh, if you keep my secret, then I'll help. Do you really believe in the ghost? Her name is Charlotte, and I've seen her. She's spoken to me. What exactly did her ghost I say? Her Boo. Sister was huh. oh. Not my fault she's a stickler for convention. She also says, Get out. Oh, right, almost forgot. She says that she hates you and she wants you to leave. What? Why? What did Nancy do? What? Boo. <laughs> this house is pretty run down. Are you sure it's safe to use that furnace? No. Maybe you should not <laughs> use it? You could be filling the house with fumes. Sounds like upstairs people problems to me. I'm downstairs people. <laughs> Maybe that's why that... Didn't they say the people... That her, uh, what is her name? Addison said she couldn't move, and maybe this is why? I don't know. Clara came to live with you after her mom died. Is that right? Yes. Did you get along? Yeah, we was a regular Tom and Huck to start. <laughs> what do you think of Wade? The Wade man of Alcatraz. <laughs> don't trust him about a single thing in this living world. The world of the dead, he understands that. Tell me about Charlotte. She was my big sister. Oh, I do knew it. Do you really think she's... I know. How do you know? No. No more. When Shaw died, that was the end of my family. I was left completely alone. All I have to call home are those memories. If I share them, they won't be mine anymore. Aww. <laughs> them downstairs people, that's a mood. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the ghost hates you. <laughs> my, not my problem. So everyone's hallucinating the ghost from the gases from the stove? <laughs> Maybe. Hi, Rain. Hello. Last 15 minutes. I normally go, go until 4 p.m. It's 2.45 right now. I'm sorry I asked. You just didn't know what you were asking. I lost my mom when I was a girl. Oh, then you must be an expert on everything. But sharing my memories of her always made her seem closer, not further away. You've seen her? What they've made her into? You think I want her closer? And people think I'm crazy. You're crazy. Alrighty then. Poor Nancy trying to, like, talk about a really hard moment in her life and the lady's just like throwing it back at her like geez looks like it's missing a piece hmm 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 all right well the key does nothing so we have to find the six that's missing all right um, where could this key that we got belong? Do you think the piece that we're missing is somewhere in he in here? There's a lot to look at, and it's pretty dark. If you all see anything, let me know. Lulu has eyes of, like, Superman. So, <laughs> Superwoman. What that is. There's nothing over here. Can't click on that. Can't click on that. We talked to Hello. Again? See you later. Yes, leave. <laughs> yes, leave. And then we read this, but I think that was the only thing we can click on in this area. So, ooh, what's over here? Oh, is this where we came from? Right. 
It probably it'll pro we'll probably have to do something in like one of these contraptions hmm. something. And then the little six will appear. Alright, I have a key. There is a locked door upstairs. Maybe we try that. The door's open. See, that's really creepy. Whoa, they did a good job. <laughs> oh, there we go. The key fits, but I think it's broken. Are you kidding? Darn it! Darn you! That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Did that. That's done. Oh wait, let's go see if her phone is charged. It's charged! Oh, looks like I need to figure out the password. Oh, what? Uh, yeah. Darn it. I was gonna do one, two, three, four. <gasps> Not the ghost again! I hate that! Don't do that! Dang it, Hunter Active. What the freak me out? Where's her, where's her fiance? He would know the password, right? Her mom would maybe know the password. Oh, here we go. Yes. <laughs> the way she turned around. There's a strange oh, woman shoot. in the basement. What? That can't Oops, be right. I'm not supposed to say anything. I swear, Harper was there. Nancy, I've got enough to deal with. Stop playing games or Oops. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I didn't actually mean to click that. Oops. Oops, I'm gonna die now, aren't I? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oops. Well, now I don't get Harper's help anymore. That was my bad. And I, honestly, I just yes. clicked it because it was the first thing on the list. No. We already clicked the backpack. Bad ending. I know. And now she's gonna be mad at me. Dang it. Darn it! <laughs> She's gonna throw you in the well. <laughs> Reload? Unfortunately, it's not how it works. It's only like where you last saved. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Can you tell me a little about Harper? It seems like you two really didn't get along. She blamed me for what happened to Charlotte. Blamed you? On some level, she was convinced it was me. I let it go at first. She was just torn to shreds about the whole thing. But the more time went by, the more disturbed she got. She was obsessed with the idea that I had stolen part of Charlotte's locket. What kind of locket? I never figured out what she was talking about. One night, she and followed right. me out onto the widow's walk. When I got near the railing, she pushed, and I fell. By the time I got out of the hospital, she was gone. I can't say I wasn't relieved. Oh my god, the heck? What is a widow's walk? Is that why it's called a widow's walk? Because <laughs> people die? To be fair, Nancy's a great secret keeper in general. This is true. <laughs> I saw something really strange. I did too. What do you think that was? Excuse me, I need to be alone. No, did you, you have more to say? Yeah, I did. Harper really was down there. I'm not making things up. What do you want from me? Nothing. I just want to find Jessalyn, like you. Then no more games now, okay? I'm telling the truth. Nancy, enough. Just go away. Nah. Leave me be. Nah. Not now. Nah. Leave me be. Dang it. Fine. Screw you. Ooh, he's back. What's up? Do you know much about Harper? 
I heard she's in some psych hospital or something. But that's all I know. I saw her around once in a while when I was a kid, but I don't remember much. Did Jessalyn ever say anything about her? Just that she seemed scared of her. Maybe they had a past, but I don't know. See you later. Bye. I know. Okay, lady. Jeez. Uh, we need to find the password to her phone. Oh, we could call Addison. Maybe Addison would know. Her friend. Yeah? Everybody in the club mad at Nancy. <laughs> Here we go. Can you help me figure out Jessalyn's password? No. What? Actually, wait. Oh. Hang on. The tombstone portion of our scavenger hunt? There was something strange about it. Can you think of a reason she would hide her password there? Just in case something happened to her. I thought she said that to scare me, but maybe not. Ah, all right. Now we gotta figure out a password. Do you know anything about Harper? Just what I've heard from Jessalyn. Apparently she handed in her sanity card a while back. Jess said Clara was always worried Harper would return. Why? I think she was scared of her. She told Jess to call the police if she ever saw Harper. Goodbye. All right. Later. Hmm. All right. W L. Eight one six three five four. Okay, let's go to the cemetery. Jessalyn's. Oh wait, let's talk to this guy first. Hi there. Do you think that what happened to Charlotte was an accident? Don't know. The night before, I saw her take off into the night holding this little package like it was precious to her. The look on her face. I should have stopped her. Said, "What is wrong?" Here, take this. Is this Charlotte's? Yes. What? Do you know what this is? Can you tell me what it's for? Maybe that's enough for now. Please, 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 never let this fall into the wrong hands. If you find this and do not know what it is, please, I'm begging you to put it back and hide it well. If you know who I am, then this will help you understand what I did. Arrange the color pairs, orange and blue numbers along the sides indicate how many of the color are in the corresponding row or column. This is important. Two squares of the same color can't be directly next to each other. Use the XX to mark pairs you know contain neither color. This will lead you to what I've hidden. <laughs> Let me just bust out this whole puzzle for you, this person that's trying to find my secrets. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Hi, Sergeant. Good afternoon. Did Clara get along with Charlotte and Harper when she was younger? They all got along famously. Until the night of the fire. Fire. What exactly happened? Charlotte was getting ready for her big 21st birthday ball. And at the last minute went off to what is now the ruins. No one knows what started the fire. After that, what about Clara and Harper? Clara grew up pretty fast. But Harper... She got lost in that night, and never got found. I swear, Harper was there. I told you. Life don't play by the rules here. Anyways, if she was, she ain't now. See you later. Bye. Alright. So, the grandmother... Wait, hold on. It said Nana. No, we have Nana and we got Grandma. Who is Nana again? Who is the mother? Who is the, the nice lady? Oh, it was Sarah. Sarah was nicknamed Nana because she would take care of the factory workers. Or wait, was it Sarah? Hold on. Yeah, I think it was Sarah. It was Jeb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Sarah. All right, where is Sarah's uh, tombstone? You scared me. What? I'd better get going. 
Adios. Right in front of you. What did he say? All right, where is Sarah's? <laughs> Hi, Matito. 113. <laughs> Thank you. How you doing? Is this it? Sarah, Sarah Emma Wakeman. Okay. So. Hmm. Adios. How you doing, Petito? How's your Labor Day weekend? Everyone is so aggressive, I know. So it says, Gravestone, F to Hunt, W, L. And we got Nana, 8, 1. So maybe... Does it mean, like, go from... Like this way to this way, and we like ca like we get e a letter from each of the gravestones, maybe width and length. So like this way and then down, maybe. So if we count eight across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then down one, maybe. Oh, eighth word, first letter. <gasps> oh my god, that makes so much more sense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. V. Okay. Can y'all write this down? We got V. <laughs> y'all are so smart. Word and letter. Um, v. Okay, then we have to look for her grandmother. Uh, Charlotte's... Oh, wait, no. Jessalyn's grandmother is Rosalie. Go to Rosalie. Okay. Uh, six and three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. So W. So we got V, W. Ghost. Does she mean Charlotte as the ghost? Maybe she means Charlotte. Okay, Charlotte, five, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, R. So V, W, R. Dodge, uh, Dodge. I think he was over here. I think Dodge, right? Roger and Mariana. Wasn't it Dodge and her was Dodge? I'm pretty sure. So let's assume that. Uh, two, five. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, M. So, I already forgot the third one. <laughs> M is the next one. So we got V... W something M Who wrote who's writing this down? Who was the third what was the third? Oh R R R okay okay. Alright, H T H T Who's H T You sure do like creeping around. Goodbye. Bye. Who's H T? No, H isn't one, Star Drew. Don't write that down. We have to figure out the gravestone for H T. Oh, maybe Harper. Oh, maybe maybe Harper. Or Harriet. Hold on. It might be Harper. All right, let's try Harper. Okay, five. Five words, six letters. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so why? Why is the next one? I know, right? It says the guy hanging out in the cemetery. I know, right? <laughs> All right, V, T. I believe that was this one, Virginia Thornton. VT is five one. One, two, three, four, five, one. Okay, F. F is the next one. 
Karina, that was Mariana's um, nickname. So hers is seven, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So I, I is the next one. Are you getting all this? <laughs> Hi, Whirly. All right, factory accident victims. Did we write what that one down? I, what the heck is happening? We're trying to decode, we have to get a password. And she left the, uh, like how to figure out which letter we need. You writing it down? Okay. Factory accident victim. So we have to look at the first word and then the fourth letter of the first word, basically. Okay, first. For first word, fourth letter. One, two, three, four, four. Okay, T. T is the next one. T. All right, last one is L A. So let's go find somebody with the initials of L A. Hi. Thank you. See you later. Bye. I'm trying to click the gravestone. Okay, here it is. Five, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. S. That's the last letter. All right, what does that spell? All right, it spells. I think you're missing an R in that word. Uh, hmm. This mean oh like she left another note. There was there once was a ghost who could only write notes. She lived in the walls and loved to float. She stood in the waves when you stepped off your boat. She skipped through the graves and to you she wrote, push glass vessels and find me in below. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> Rapey. Alright, Harper. So hold on. Looked like something weird. I thought that guy blinked for a second. I'm seeing things. I'm seeing things, chat. I am seeing things. I am seeing things in this game. Alright. V W R M Y F I T S. Fits. Vroom fits. Vroomy fits. Darn it. Oh, it's right! I thought we were gonna have to like decode what that what that was, but no, that's it! Yeah, we got it. We hacked her phone. Check. Woo! Check. I literally thought it was gonna be a words on stream moment where we we're gonna have to like figure figure out what that word is. Okay. I shouldn't make a call with Jessalyn's phone. Journal. Okay, so she has a lot and messages. Okay, let's look at her messages first, and we'll listen. Okay, got all the stuff I need. Any chance you'll change your mind? Come on, it'll be fun. It had better be, or what? Or I'll reveal so much embarrassing personal information in my toast at your wedding. No toast for Addie, noted. I'll just yell things out. You can't stop the A train once it's left the station. Lol, do what you must. Please come back. Jess, I don't know if you're okay or not, but I miss you. Please come home. Please be okay. Aww. Kind of nice. Oh, this is her mom. Did why? Did, oh, did you get the invertebrates? What? Invertebrates. Mom, that does not clarify things. Invertebrates. Yes. No invertebrates. I'll make a note of that. No invertebrates. I am sending this photograph backwards. Okay, I hope that works out for you. <laughs> it's like any mom with technology. <laughs> 
I am typing slowly and angrily. Did you mail out the things that tell people about the wedding for the people who are new to the list? Invitations? Yes. Because people need to know about the wedding. No. Why meant yes? Yes. I did yes. Why did you just typewriters that? Why didn't you just typewriters that? You're right. I should have typewriters that. You might want to disable predictive thing on your photograph. I do not know how you do it. <laughs> on her phone instead of photograph. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to. Call me now. Jesse, I am not joking you. Call me right now. Your mom's on the war path. Okay, so that was a message from her mom. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> and now this is her fiance. Your mom's on the war path. She's on more than one. I recommend just doing what she says. This has to chill out once the wedding is done. I know, right? But it won't. Did you get my notes on the catering? Yes, thanks. Did you want me to care about it more? Because I can fake that if needed. Lol, no, no. I'm pretending to care for my mom. So you pretending to care for me while being a nice touch isn't really needed. Cool, let's just get pizza. Ah! What? My mom just invited every single one of my teachers from kindergarten on to my wedding. Why? I have no idea. I think I owe a few of them some homework. <laughs> that They can't be that bad. They're fine. That's not the point. What's the point then? You'll have time to figure that out yourself because I'm sure she's inviting yours too. Oh, you know, I think I get it now. Where are you? Everyone's freaking out. Hello? Oh, see? Everybody cared about her except her mom. Well, kind of. No, her mom yelled at her. So showing how she cares all right let's listen eddie eddie come here quick i i see something seriously shh, shh. stay still listen i don't hear ah! what what's happening i just practicing you are such a brat shh, shh. I'm not falling for it again no eddie i'm serious listen footsteps i don't hear them maybe it was the wind That is not the title of this program. Oh, and I suppose you have a better name? With this ring? Uh, the dead. No, that's weird and you're weird for saying it. We're using mine. I'm Jessalyn Tara Thornton. And I'm Addison Abomination Hammond. And this is Ghost Talker Tours. This week we're creeping into Thornton Hall, the most haunted place in the known universe. Children around here grew up in fear of the dreaded Charlotte Thornton, also known as my cousin. This is kind of cute. <laughs> this is what they were doing before she went missing, is pretending that they're on a ghost hunt. This is like my, this is like my best friend. She's unhinged, but I guess I love her. <laughs> we're here to find... Ah! Oh, that is a spider! It is in my hair! I don't even want to be alive anymore! Please just kill me! Got it! Look there. There it goes. Well, on the bright side, we can check spiders off the list. <gasps> that was a black widow. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Probably just gave it the scare of its life. It's not going to bother us. It's her or me. I, uh, I just dropped her. I think it fell through the floorboards. Well, let's just grab it in the AM unless you want to go one-on-one -on -one with our little friend down there. Wonderful. Black widow. Yeah, nope, but yeah, I would totally kill if it was a black widow. Like, what? Where are we going? Are you sure you want to know? I'm just going to pretend it's a top secret, really nice hotel. We're looking for the ruins where Charlotte died. Remember when Elizabeth got married and we all watched rom-coms and ate caramel corn? I was just thinking, like, at no point that evening was I like, I'll die here. It just didn't come up. Maybe not for you, but two movies in, I was thinking fondly about my own mortality. Wait. What's that say? Whoever voice acted this is really good. The serpent rests in the center on the two handles. I think I know what that's about. Whoa, buddy system, Jess, where are you going? I know you're freaking out. I promise this will be quick. Are all of those coffins occupado? I gotta go outside. Just two seconds. There's some sort of message in the window. Yeah, I know. It says, this building is for dead people only. So it looks like they got into the crypt, I guess. That's what that is. Jess, 
Jessalyn! This isn't funny! Where are you? Jesse! I don't want to be alone. Please stop! Please! Please come back! This isn't funny! I'm too scared. Ooh, that's creepy, man. I don't understand. Are you okay? Jess, if this is a prank, it's not funny. Not funny! Jess, you're really scaring me. Say something! I said leave me alone. Now! Whoa, whoa, this is creepy! Poor girl, man. Whoa, that was, that was creepy as heck. That's done. Whoa, that freaked me out. That's done. Um... Check. Still have to do that. Oh, it sounds like Addison and, and Jessalyn dropped something. But where would they have dropped it? Was she gone for three hours? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. This one is for us Nancy kiddos that grew up. For real. Like, that felt too- like, I was getting little chills. Creepy. It sounded too real. <laughs> um, find the window mentioned in the recording. Find the ruins. It sounds like Addison had just dropped something. Um, where did it? Was it in the crypt that they dropped something? Or was it like up here where the spider was? I don't know. I don't know where the spider is, but. Anyways, let's go to the crypt for because for sure they went in there. Cause they said all the tombs. But I don't have a key. <sighs> the window. Is there a window? sure maybe I go back oh the floorboards true what's up I'd better get going yeah, we, Later. Can, we can look on the floor they weren't outside here were they there's windows over here but the mom's gone again I don't see, I don't see anything here. <gasps> oh, here we go. Ah! Ah! My God! Ah! Kill it! Ah! Jeez. This looks like some sort of code. <laughs> ah! It was a black widow. <laughs> That's scary, man. I would have freaked out just like freaking Addison. Okay, draw a path to spell the name of one of the four colors seen behind the letters without drawing over the same path twice and ending at the star. Okay. Well, I got it. I need to go to the bathroom first. Check. We got that. We have to find uh, the rest of this. Uh, kill it. <laughs> eh, spider. Ugh. Spiders in my house have limited time on this earth. Outside, I leave them alone. Same. <laughs> uh, unless I know they're like the innocent kind, like the fuzzy ones that like the windows. Um, okay. Should we figure it, oh, should we figure out this one? Draw a path to spell the name of one of the four colors seen behind the letters. Oh, like purple, green, yellow. Okay. Without drawing over the same path twice and ending at the star. Okay. Okay, maybe green. We are... E... E... 
Oh, there's an N, but we can't do this, right? Greel, Greelin, <laughs> Grim. Um, okay. How about? Do we only got we only got green, yellow, blue, and purple, right? Hmm. Oh yes, my favorite color. Green. <laughs> Stop it. Hmm. What would be a good landscaping option? Oh, I know. Let's put a cemetery in the front yard. <laughs> Should we try yellow? Y E L. No. Uh, maybe purple. Maybe P. You are mm, no. Blue, maybe B. Oh, wait, maybe B. L. U. E can't do that. Darn it. Right? I don't think we can. Oh, oops. I went the wrong way anyways. Oh, you think it's green? Green. G-R-E. Okay, let's try that. G-R. Which E? Yellow E. Ah. Green. Green E. What, this yellow in? But the problem is we have to end at the star. <laughs> Dang it. We're so close! Della, did I do it wrong? Maybe I did it wrong. Green is. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Is there another way around? Like maybe we take a different E or an N? Green. I forgot about the star. I know, I know. The star is annoying. <laughs> y E. Purple, Y, you think yellow? Okay, let's try. Okay, purple, Y, green, E. Blue, L, ooh, yes, I didn't see this L. Okay, okay. Purple, L, yes. O, purple, O. <gasps> you did it! This is it! Yellow! Oh my god! Good job! Oh, there's more. <sighs> Draw a path through all squares of the color that was spelled out on the first board. Okay, so it was yellow. Wait, what? Okay, wait, you can't do that. And we don't do all of the yellow ones. Huh. Maybe the only ones that are possible. Wait, what? <laughs> Good job, Mark. Maybe it's okay to go through non-yellow squares because it's impossible not to. Am 
maybe. What does this mean? There's like a little drawing up here. Hmm. Should I just go through? It's gotta spell something, right? Surely. Oh, it is only taking the H's. Okay, hold on. I think I went the wrong way. Oops. Okay, it is only... Sorry. It is only taking the yellow ones up here. Wait, how... Dang it, what, what, e, e, e. Maybe you just can't cross the red lines. Yeah. Yeah, you, it's, yeah, that's gotta be it. But like, how do I get the T? Or maybe we just go around first. What do y'all think? Darn it, can't get the G. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe, uh, wait, I think I see what it spells. What, it, what does it spell? It starts with an E. Or actually, it doesn't have to start with an E, because we can just skip the E. But we need the E, so. Oh, Ethel's Grave? Is there a lady named Ethel? Oh, <gasps> Ethel May. Oh my god, you're right. Okay. Oh, shoot. E T. Maybe this will help. How do I get this E? Darn it. Ethel May! Yeah! But how do we get the other E? Left to T, down to cross between R. Okay. Uh, go left to the purple R. Down to the H, all right, okay. Up to the purple R. Oh, we're, oh! Oh my God, you're so good. Okay, up through E, right. Got it. Oh my god. I didn't think... Why did I think that wouldn't work? Okay, so we need to do G first. G... How do we do G? G-R-A-V-E. We don't... Oh, we need the S first. Oh, we need the S. Ethels. Okay, okay. G... R A V Oh my god, it's so nice when we know what it says. Oh my god, yeah, we did it! Ethel's grave. It must be tied into that picture in the corner somehow. Yeah. Alright, let's go to Ethel's grave. Alright. Ethel's grave. Was this Ethel? There was one where it's kind of dirty. This must be Ethel's yeah. grave. Ethel May. Wait, what did we need to do here? Y'all are so smart. Super sleuths. What are we doing? Do we need a do we need a dig? Grave digging. <laughs> Uh, I found it. Check. Check. Nintendo, thanks for 65. Hello. Thank you. How are you doing? I don't know. Well, if 
Find the window mentioned in the recording. Find the ruins where Charlotte died. We ask you him? sure do like creeping around. See you later. Adios. Why does he say adios like that? So adios. Ah. -di -os. Where's this window? Why do I keep thinking that it's a window here? Like I'm I'm wrong. But what was at the grave? What's what's with the grave? I don't we found the grave, but what's what what Die January 13, 1933. Maybe we need the numbers for something? Hmm. Or is there like a key? Can I can I dig? Can't dig. I wanna dig your grave. Oh, I got a... what? The heck? Because I clicked on this so many times? Can you clean off the stone? You know what? Maybe maybe so. Let me go get a napkin. I don't have an, another napkin. Oh, I can't get one. I was hoping I can get another napkin to clean it off, but I guess not. Yeah, it seems like I'm gonna need those numbers for something. <laughs> What's up? Um. Looking at the windows. Hmm. Also, I think we can go back here now. Because. We need to do this. There once was a ghost who could only write notes. She lived in the walls and loved to float. She stood in the waves when you stepped off the boat. She skipped through the graves to sit and to, and to she, and to you she wrote. Push glass vessels. I know exactly what it's referring to. It's this. I need to follow the instructions from the note. I sometime before E, but sometime after B. O is not first. L is third. E is immediately before O. Okay, so it goes... I... No, wait. B... O... No, wait. No, B... I... O... E... Leo, B, I, L, yeah, B, I, L, E, O. Okay, let's try B, I, oops, <laughs> L, E, O. Nice, B Leo. I guess it's not supposed to make any sense. What was I supposed to think? One day you were just gone. I'd better listen. Lexi. And I hope you understand how much that makes me hate you right now. Who is Lexi? Is he cheating on Addison? Who is Lexi? Oh, ooh, what's this? Ooh. sound really tired. <gasps> Ned! Burning the midnight oil at both ends? Feels well, what like happened? it. I must have slept through the day. <sighs> but I still feel exhausted. Maybe you should pace yourself a bit. Did we I get know. gassed? Wait, hang on. Hang on? Why? Is there a ghost? No, I see something. Uh, call you back later. Wait, what? See something? Oh, this? A flower is a joy when it thrives, a burden when death arrives. Gather your dried petals where immortality resides. Place a flower where she stands before the stone. 
turns to dust, she will tell you what she can away and back to earn her trust. Oh shoot, it's... <laughs> no, okay. We have to earn her trust again. I know that was, uh... I mean, to be fair, I didn't... I honestly did not mean... I do not care if she's an adult. She's my daughter. I should listen. She's not a runaway. She'd never do that to us. No, no, no. It's not cold feet. It's not running away. Someone took her. She is in danger out there. Do something. She sounds pretty upset. Let's go talk to her. The stove fumes, <laughs> maybe. Yes? Can you tell me anything about your father that might be relevant? Why would you ask me about my father? You know, no stone unturned, pursue all angles. I don't believe you. Fine. I never knew who my daddy was. Happy to hear me say that? I promise I didn't know. Whatever. I it doesn't know. matter. Why didn't your mother ever tell you? I think one day she was going to tell me. But she didn't live to get the chance. I've heard about the ghost, but can you tell me anything about the real Charlotte? My cousin. But everyone thought we were sisters. She died here. Join the old family, as they used to say. When I was a little girl, my mama used to say, after we Thornton's passed, we keep on living right here. Every night would be a beautiful ball with songs and cute boys to dance with. She wasn't trying to scare me to death, but nonetheless, I did not sleep well on story nights. It does sound a little eerie. That was back when Thornton Hall was pretty. Now, I don't even want to entertain the thought. Did your mother say much else about the ghosts here? Too much. If she thought there was a ghost about, she'd fall to pieces being so sad. Sad? Most people are afraid of ghosts. She had this weird belief that Thornton ghosts aren't around forever. They got a short time to make their peace. If they don't, they get bitter, real mean and nasty, until they forget everything that made them human. And then they slip into the cracks of the world to live with the others. The others? The lost souls from an accident that happened here years back. Mama called them hungry shadows. Why? I don't want to know. She said they were all... Tangled together, lost and scared and mean. My mama was a good woman. But dang, if she didn't scare me half to death with a regularity. See you later. Great bedtime Bye. story. I know, right? <laughs> He'd be scared too. All right, we saw- We could have found a way. It's Colton. I better listen. Maybe Lexi. Lexi. I know you still care about me. I want to see you when this is all over. I know. All I said is I want to see you. Then why did you pick up the phone? Just see me. It sounds like he's talking to Lexi. Red flag, red flag. Did you listen in on my call? Yes. Who is Lexi? What are you talking about? The girl you were on the phone with? You don't know what you heard. You understand me? I think she is someone important to you. I don't want to talk about it. Your fiancé is missing, and the way you're talking to this Lexi... You want a conversation? Fine. I love Lexi. I want to spend my life with her. You're engaged. That was based on a lie. Clara, my parents, even Jesselyn. They were all in on it. Jesselyn? Are you sure? She'd have to be. I mean... I haven't considered that she might not be yet. Before Jess and I got together... I was with Lexi, until one day she called and said it was over. She wouldn't even see me. Then, she was gone. And now I find out. My parents pushed her away, and Clara pushed me and Jess together. Mom and Dad wanted a piece of the Thornton fortune, and Clara wanted a piece of the Birchfield influence. So excuse me for being conflicted. I want Jesslyn safe, but... I still don't understand what's going on. Why are you here? To try to forget something. Forget what? I guess it must have worked. Forget where you put your fiance? <laughs> oh my god. That's horrible. Oh my god, Jesslyn probably doesn't know it all. 
So, things would really work out for you if Jessalyn just disappeared. Do you really want to ask me that? Yes. yes, I do. Go away! Now! I'm about to stick this thing right up your bum, sir. Not now. I have such problems with like that. This looks like the picture from the camera. <gasps> Ooh, we found the ruins! Check. Check. The numbers along the edges should help me arrange the tiles correctly. Do I, do I, is this, I have so many notes. Not bad. ad, oh no. <laughs> yes, Kylie. <laughs> Ned's looking pretty great right now. Wait, speaking of, I think we can actually hold on, hold the phone. Hold literally hold the phone. Let's call Bess because it sounded like Bess and Ned was there. So I'm just curious. Before we solve this puzzle. Bess's phone. Alright, bonus Ned. What are you two up to? George is in New York. So she got the internship with that technology of tomorrow place? Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. Not going to happen. Someone has to, Ned, and yes, George already Japan said one. no. You're right. It was a really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the island? I did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Why is that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few hundred miles of Black Rock Island. I can definitely see why. Even I have to admit it does have a certain abyss gaze is also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. I love really? how we hear Ned. Oh, that's I guess great. he was also in the other game too. I never been watching best. videos of otters. So good at stacking things. Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. I've been so bored since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm-hmm. See? And he's also very quick to Stockholm. Nickerson family trait. We like being liked. Oh, thanks, you two. Pip people pleaser. Okay. I'd better get going. Take care. This minigame made me question how this game was ever allowed to be made, made for children to solve. Oh, at this? How do we do this? Oh. Oh, this is this. All right. Arrange the color pairs, orange and blue numbers along the sides indicate how many of that color are in the corresponding row or column. This is important. Two squares of the same color can't be directly next to each other. Use the XX to mark pairs you know contain neither color. Ah, okay. So we have to have three red and four blue in this column. And then four red and four blue, and so on and so forth. Interesting. Please, please, please. It's kind of like cross with the color thing. Yeah, so... Goodness. Um, how do you, how would you even start this? There's not sixes. Sudoku, but with colors. Um, yeah, I guess so. Is the best way to do this just to guess and then like fix it after you guess? Do 
There's supposed to be zero. Oh wait, there's supposed to be zero red in both of these columns. Interesting. So, does that mean these are all X's? And then maybe like this one is blue, this one is blue. X, maybe blue. So it's supposed to be two. Here, there we go. Maybe. It's supposed to be one more blue. Uh, you know what I mean? It's, hmm. I guess the ones with four have to be all used, right? I'm assuming it might be the case. But what? How do I make this row, this column, have one more blue but zero red? How do I do that? Did the note say that two of the same color can't be next to each other? Uh, true. But... Yeah, you're right. But if we were to reverse this... That means one blue, zero red, so you have to change one of them to XX. It's only supposed to have one blue, not three. Oh! You're right. Which one should I get rid of? Maybe this one? Yeah, you're right. That's silly me. Silly me! Okay, let's... columns must be all turned on the first two columns very possible or maybe maybe not because you have all of these right the first one. I don't know about the second one. The second one has too many options that could have it. Um... There we go. These are all good. missing the two red to the left of these have to be XX or in the middle not top red. the column missing the two red wait where did I fix it <laughs> huh, okay this one's definitely wrong Oh, I did fix it? Okay. Sorry. Uh, I'm guessing right now and just looking to see. I'm, I'm mainly focusing here. I know I should be focusing on both, but it's hard to fix on both. Okay. Hmm. 
these have to all be turned on. These have to. But we need three red. So maybe we reverse this. No. We still need one red. So maybe we have to get rid of one of these and replace it. Somehow, maybe... Hmm. Bottom row, square three, move the set one up. Like that? But it messes this one up. The second column has to be on as well. There's so many though. Because we have three that are straight across, one up here, another straight across, and one up here. Has to, so that it's four of each one. Maybe we swap these. Excuse me. Like that. Okay. Okay. Alright. Looking good. Alright. Two red only. And four blue. So we can excuse me. Swap that. Alright. Three red. And only two blue. If we swap this. No, this messes this one up. The top, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm probably, I'm probably fixing it before y'all say it, my bad. This one's gonna be a challenge. I definitely this one this row is definitely wrong because it needs three blue and like I don't even have enough squares for that. Ah! Hey. Darn you! We're so close. We're so close. Hmm. Switch the pair in the second row with the pair with the 
Okay, switch the pair in the second row. From the bottom, third and fourth column to X, and then the one under it to have colors. Okay, wait, where? Switch the pair in the second row. Which pair? There's this pair, this pair, and then this pair. From the bottom, second, oh, second row from the bottom, sorry. Third and fourth column. looking good and then we just have to figure out which one do I switch something's there we not go. quite right wait what do you mean what's not oh it's cuz they're all touching now oh what shoot I world? totally forgot about that <laughs> or not I know we're so close darn it it's <laughs> Lulu thank you for the 300 bits <laughs> Guys, you, Nancy, you. Why did we forget about that? Oh my god, I totally forgot. This makes it so much harder. <laughs> oh boy. We gotta fix this. Oh boy. That is an extra difficulty. Row six, square two is negative. Okay, row six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Square two is negative. Alright. There, like that, right? That's, yeah. But now it messes this one up. But that's okay. We can fix. We can fix this. There we go. Easy fix. Good job, Ark. You started that. We did it. Mom. One eight six seven. All right. Okay. All right. Got a snake pillow. All right. Good job, guys. I'm saving, because that was a really kind of convoluted puzzle. Uh, the search ruins. <laughs> All right, so this is where Charlotte died. Oh boy. That wasn't just my imagination. think the tiles oh I can't do anything with the snake plate though let's follow the ghost There's something down there Ooh, a key hmm 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 picker ah got it got it Ooh. skeleton key oh a crypt key oh <gasps> we got the crypt key we can go in the crypt what else is here is there anything else here oh what's this oh <gasps> Well, real people posing. <laughs> <The heck? laughs> Cringe. Um, sorry, Nancy, but I always find it really weird to see real people. Oh. Oh, I thought those were tiles I could pick up. Anything else? Anything else? Is that it? Huh. I think that's it. Okay. Alright, we got it. Alright, let's go to the crypt since we got a key. I don't know why that guy scared me. <laughs> okay, let's... Yeah! Oh my god, that's terrifying. You. Oh my god, for a second I thought that you I had to come out on. here because of you. I still don't understand why you're hiding. You don't know who these people are. You <laughs> think you know who to trust, but you don't. She's so scary, man. I literally thought she didn't have any pants on. I trust you. I trust you. You do. 
Then don't tell anyone where I am. Okay, I will. But just so you know, you shouldn't trust me either. Oh. I don't have your best interests at heart. Oh. Alright. Wonderful. <laughs> Alright, and with that, guys, we're going to stop for today because it's 4 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, search grips. I don't want to tattle tell her on anymore. Tattle tell on her anymore. Because I don't... She scares me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. She scares the crap out of me. <laughs> and on that note, we're stopping. She freaks me out. This actually is a really, really good, scary... Nancy Drew like this one's getting me kind of like kind of the same one like the the Japanese one the Japanese one Japanese one freaked me out <laughs> Tom, It's just a Japanese theme Nancy Drew game not just Japanese people freak me out <laughs> Stop Wait, where was that? Oh, never mind. I thought of something earlier. Um. <laughs> anyways. When are you on next? Um, I stream tomorrow. I usually stream Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So those three days in a row. 